Valve has thrown another curveball our way with the latest update. It introduces the concept of rentals. As per the patch notes, when a player opens a kilowatt case with a key, they will be able to have the option to rent an entire kilowatt collection, i.e. every weapon in the case excluding their rare special item, for a week instead of receiving an item from that collection. Equipped rented weapons will be replaced with the stock version of the weapon when the rental expires. And the rented weapons cannot be modified, so no stickers, no name tags, and they can't be traded or sold on the market. That is a super interesting move from Valve to be honest. And it appears that the community has already made its moves on the market and values of various skins from the Killwood collection, which uh, is the only case so far affected by this update. Um, all of the skins are dropping in price significantly. I kind of understand why the panic selling would happen, but I don't think that this is going to be permanent. If you think about it long term, I think this will mean that there will actually be less skins from this case available overall um, because of the fact that people will be opening these uh, cases to rent out the skins uh, rather than actually buying the skin or opening the case, getting a skin and adding to the, if you think about it, like the global pool of, of that specific skin. Now I know that trade-ups re reduce that amount, but technically that would actually bring the prices of skins up, because more renters mean less skins in circulation, which means prices will be going up, and those rentals will eventually expire, so those people will run out of their chance to actually play with the, the reds. So in a way, now might actually be the perfect time to end up buying some of these skins that are super cheap, and uh, I think that they will actually go back up in price very soon. From the interface point of view, we have now a little uh, icon on the bottom left of the kilowatt case. It says rentable. And when you go to unlock it, you get the two options, open to keep or open to rent. Rent 17 weapons for seven days. And you see that it hides the cookery knife because you do not get to rent the knives. And when you do this, it tells you rent weapons. Rented weapons are available for up uh, for seven days. Receive every gun from the kilowatt case. Rented weapons are not eligible. So it basically just tells you what the patch notes were saying. When you click open to rent. Oh, I've not done this before, but there we go. You get a rental of all the skins. Another thing to note is that these are the non Star Trek versions, of course, uh, of all of the skins. So while you get to play with all of them, you don't really get to keep Star Trek. You don't get to do any of that cool stuff. Now, what I am interested in is what float is each of those skins going to be. It looks like all of them are very clean. So looking at that, wait, we still get a random, random quality? That's, that's minimal wear, what do, how? So you still get a random exterior of each of the rented skins. That's something I'm just finding out as, uh, as I'm looking at this. So that's very interesting, because there is still that random element. You could end up with a battle scarred version of the inheritance and it might just look crap for, for you, even though you ended up renting them for seven days. Oh, one cool thing to notice is that they have added now also a hide rented item stick box, which uh, I'm big fan of, since I'm probably not going to be using these rented items anyway, since I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. Now, I'm guessing that this move from Valve is to tackle the issue of the EU gambling laws, which are cracking down on loot boxes in general. So this, I guess, will allow people to open cases despite of the of the gambling ban. So that's kind of interesting. It's um, I don't think it's it's going to break the economy of the Steam market at all. It's just going to deal with whichever countries are disallowing gambling, essentially. So yeah, you get now AK-47, you can replace it on the T side. And yeah, that's really, really interesting. So as I mentioned previously, the prices of the skins have been going down significantly, but kind of the opposite has been happening with the cases. If I, yeah, if I look at the, at the market charts, they were down to like 50p and now everything has shot up so 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 significantly we're back to back up to a price from like months ago 
it's uh, I think that makes sense again because a lot of people are going to open these cases to rent out the skins for some time and then they're gonna well lose access to, to those skins and again that's just reducing the well reducing the amount of cases in uh, available for for people to open so even though there is a hundred fifty thousand cases available to open right now you know if everyone just opens one gets that rental for a week and then that you know those disappear that there is no skin left at the end of that it's it's gonna have huge ramifications for any future cases now i assume that they're not going to do this for the older cases the older cases are going to be stuck the way that they have been and that basically means that the existing market doesn't move at all well it shouldn't in theory it shouldn't like we're not going to start losing older cases due to rentals but uh, this uh, kilowatt case yeah i am very interested to see how the future of it pans out so far it seems that the price is basically just gonna stay whatever it was you know a month ago when was it pound yeah and the, at the beginning not like maybe even two weeks ago a month ago it was roughly a pound so yeah let me know what you guys think about it do you disagree with me is there anything uh, any other like thoughts that you have about this let me know in the comments below and I, I guess I'll see you in another video once Valve does another crazy move on the market bye bye